Yes, this is going to be one of those perspective videos. There are too many of these already, but I thought I'd join in. We've all seen the videos made by Flat Earthers in which they show how perspective actually works and how they apply it to their reality. And basically this is it. You can imagine a corridor. In reality, the doors are all the same size and the distance between the walls and the distance between the ceiling and the floor are equal everywhere. The edges of the corridor seem to move into infinity over distance. So let's make that a bit more clear. The, with this, you can see with the squares on the wall that the angular size changes over distance. The squares seem to turn into a rhombus. This picture also shows how everything that is above your line of sight stays above your line of sight, no matter how far it goes into the distance. You can see that the lights are staying above the line of sight. When you go onto YouTube, you can find all kinds of videos where the Flat Earthers explain this exact same principle. And my favorite one. This picture shows exactly how everything that is below the line of sight is, stays below the line of sight. Everything above the line of sight stays above it into infinity. Applying this to reality means that this, or better yet, this is impossible on a flat plane, according to the principle of perspective. We know what a wind turbine looks like and we know how perspective works, meaning that this is impossible unless the surface is bent. Flat earthers really do seem to understand the principle showing this example, uh, but then again you can find a lot of these explanations, where you can see that the explanation given does not mimic reality. The image on the right shows that the bottom of the pedestals in the image on the left should not disappear in the way it is shown to disappear, and you can see both video stills are taken from the same video. So the guy who made this uh, video knows that the left image isn't correct. In a different video, made by a different flat earther, the principle is explained again. He shows the sun path according to perspective, and with the image in the bottom he shows that he knows the principle, but in the top image he shows the sun going below his line of sight. But he doesn't show the ground moving up. His depiction doesn't conform to this, where if you take a red banner as your line of sight, everything above that line of sight stays above it and everything below it stays below it, into infinity. So the sun can't go under the line of sight unless the surface is bent and the line of sight is straight. This is the principle and the flat earthers know it. They just don't seem to be able to apply it. Thanks for watching.